Windows XP. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. Now, I don't expect this video to help out a ton of people, but for the few of you that are either running XP in a virtual session like this, because I'm in Linux right now, this is VirtualBox 6.1, or, or if you actually have a now ancient PC running Windows XP, this will be of use to you. So, well, actually, before we get to this, so this is Garmin Basecamp in XP. It's an older version, 4.25. And, yeah, I've got Open Map Chest, United States, latest edition, which at the time of this recording is August 11 release. So, yeah, this, this is it. Just backing up a bit so you can see the map. Totally works, no problem. But there's a problem. Not with the operation of this, this works fine. It's just getting it into XP. Because when you go to Open Map Chest, you will notice that, and this is just for the United States, by the way, it's a 4.3 gigabyte zip. And you're thinking, okay, well, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is that Windows XP, the vast majority of Windows XP installations are 32-bit, meaning this environment will not recognize a file which is over 4 gigabyte in size. And I'll show you. I have it downloaded to another folder here, and you can see it's over 4 gigs. If I try to open this zip, eh, nope, invalid or corrupted. It's not. The file is over 4 gigs. Now, if I try to open it with 7-zip, oh, it'll open right up. Oh, sweet. So how do we get to this point? Well, you can do this in a few different ways. You basically have to get the file under 4 gigabyte in order to recognize in Windows XP. Now, if you're, or do what I just did and show a network share, you connect a network share to it, and then you can use 7-zip within XP and uh, this is the latest version of 7-zip, which amazingly still works. The 32-bit version, of course, works in XP. But let's just say it's a PC. It's a separate unit, se uh, separate box. You're like, oh, God, how do I... Okay, you can get 7-zip installed, but you can't get a network share for whatever reason. And you have to find some way to get this over to XP, extract it, and then you can use it in Basecamp. Now, uh, before getting to that, I have uh, the folder for the map data bookmarked here as, well, uh, what do you call it, shortcut link on the desktop. And in XP, it is Documents and Settings, All User Application Data, Garmin Maps. Or... And I didn't put it here because I didn't want to. If I go to, where is it, Manage Map Products. I could have also dumped it into Program Files, Garmin Base Camp Maps. And I could have put it here, but I, didn't, I did not want it residing inside the Program Files folder. That could cause weirdness. So Documents and Settings, All Users, Application Data, Garmin, Maps, and then get over there and then this and that's where you extract it to right so so now I will actually show the first way in this environment in XP pretend for a moment this is not XP and you're in Windows 7 10 11 whatever or even 8 whatever it is that you're using okay so Oh, and just pretend you're here and you have installed 7-zip. You need this. So go to 7-zip, 7-zip.org and get yourself the, uh, well, for modern Windows, you'd get the 64-bit, of course. For XP, you get 32-bit. But anyway, pretend this is Windows 10 or 11 for a minute. What we do here is that you launch the 7-zip application, and um, I already have it in the folder here. The, here is my big honkin' for XP, 
over four gigabyte file. I need to split this. So I highlight it, add, and I set the compression level to zero. And here's a very nice little thing about 7-zip. I can split to volume. So I can drag this down 4,092 megabytes fat, which is the maximum file size that 32-bit Windows XP will recognize. And I'm just going to dump this on the desktop just to show you what happens. So, okay, I'm going to dump this on the desktop and I'm doing this with, it's already compressed. So it's a zero store compression and then just go. And it's going to make the files. Let me just refresh the desktop here. Okay, it's making it right up here. Doesn't take too long because I'm not using any compression because I mean, I don't, I don't want to compress a zip. It's already compressed. And what this will do is create two files that one of which is four gigabytes on the nose, 4,092 megabytes, just under if you want to get technical about it, and the second one. And then what you can do with 7-zip is open the file, the 001, and then you can extract it. It's almost done. And after this, I will show the Linux way of doing it, which is command line. Sounds scary, but it's not. Okay. So let me refresh. Okay, put the second one here. So what I have here is open map chest 001, open map chest 002. Now if I put this on a FAT32 formatted USB stick from another computer, like a Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever, Windows 11, brought it over to the Windows XP computer, plugged it in, and it has this, I can uh, copy them directly to the computer and then double click, open it up, now there is a zip inside, but what I can do is double click that. I know this is kind of, it's a process, but you can get it to work. So this is all within XP now. I have to wait. So what it's going to do is open, you open the seven zip, then you open the zip, and then you drag the open map chest folder into the base camp maps folder and yeah it does take longer during this process this virtual xp i have is a i'm using air quote fingers here maxed out at two gigabyte that technically it will 32-bit xp will support 3.2 gigabyte ram but you know two gigabytes fine i doubt you would notice the difference between two and three gigabyte ram on xp Okay, so there it is. And then what I can do is when I have my map folder open, and uh, you know what, I'll, I'll actually do the installation right here. Let me just close this out. Okay, that's closed. I'm, a, I'm actually going to delete this outright. So shift delete to the permanent delete. Yep. And there it goes. Erasing the whole thing. Now, if I go back into Basecamp, there is, now I have a, a Garmin plugged in right now, so it's going to show a different map, but yeah, it will default to the, I have a 2689 plugged in right now, but there is not OpenStreetMap. Okay, so let's close this out. Now with this, folders right here, okay, fine, drag it right in. And it's working. So what it did is that I opened a split 7-zip file, then w which opened the full zip file, which got to the folder, and now I am extracting that archive from in 7-zip to here. And yes, this does take the longest amount of time to accomplish, but the point is that yeah, you, you can totally do it. But let's talk about Linux. Oh my god, okay, there there's a terminal. So there is the open map just United States zip file. And we'll do it the command line way, but let's just let this finish up first and then we'll go to that. It is interesting when you're dealing with 
older computer technology here, especially when you go 32 to 64, or actually in this case, 64 to 32, because everyone is used to just dumping files regardless of size, I believe, up to, uh, well, in, actually, I'll bring up another point here. What's the biggest file for Windows 7? Yes, 7 specifically, 2 terabyte. So you can go up to a 2 terabyte file in Windows 7, and I think 8 and above you can go uh, exabyte whatever I don't know what it is but it goes beyond that 2 TB limit but when you're talking about gigab 4 gigabyte limit uh, that throws people for a loop it really does especially uh, something that's not a computer if you have like a portable uh, media play like an older one portable media player you know the things you used to get in uh, Walmart or Target where it's just a little screen it's not a laptop it just plays media files and it says hey it's got mp4 support whatever well the problem is they're all 32-bit and if you try to throw on a, a, a video file that's over 4 gigabyte it's not going to copy it's just simply not going to work you have to get and there, you can't do a split like you can do here with a video file because it just won't play uh, you have to get uh, recompress it using FFmpeg or something like that to get it under four gigs. Like if you uh, ripped a Blu-ray or something like that, yeah, to go on one of those older portable media players. Mm hmm. Okay, we're almost done. And come on, there we go. And it's gonna do my copy in there. Okay. So now I'm going to close, close, and when I open Basecamp, we should see Open Map Chest. And we do! There it is. Uh, we could lo oh, it's doing that loading from the 2689 again. But yeah, there it is. There's all the map data for the United States. All right, now let's go do some Linux goodness. Actually, let me bring that back up. Actually, no, I don't have to. I'll just increase it like this so you can actually see it. And I've got a share folder just plopped on my desktop here. So there's the file is we've got... Actually, let me do it like this. LSLH. Okay, 4.4 gigabyte, 4.3, whatever it is. And I want to split this just like I did in XP or in the Windows way, but do it the Linux way with the command line, which is just 7Z. So I'm going to do this same style, no compression, split it into 4,092 megabyte chunks. Yeah. So 7Z. Now if I do just do 7Z, that's, it just gives you all the options, whatever. Let's go back. LSLH again. Okay. 7Z. A, which is add, and then I want to specify zero compression hyphen mx equals zero. Now I want to specify split into 4092 megabyte chunks. So that would be hyphen v volume 4092m. It doesn't have to be capitalized, you can do lowercase m. So 7 zip add with no compression into 4,092 megabyte chunks and then the name of the archive. So I'm just going to type it as OMC. That's fine. And then a space. Actually, let me back up a little bit so you can see the command. So 7-zip seven add no compression 4,092 megabyte. This is the name of the file and what I'm going to do is just type the uh, O and P and then I'm going to Here's a nice little thing. You can do this in Windows too. I can type the first few characters. I'll just type the word open with a capital O and then tab. Fills the whole file name. Beautiful. Or you can just manually type out the whole thing. And when I press enter here, it's going to do it. So now what it's doing is that it is creating two files. It's going to 001 and 002. It'll be done in just a moment. 
And yeah, you can see him running an older computer here. It's a you know Core i7. I'm on a laptop. Whatever, it works. And that's it. So let me clear and get the size up a little bit again. LS hyphen LH. Okay. So now I have my OMC uh, 7-zip part 1 and part 2. So I can copy this over to a FAT32 formatted uh, USB stick, bring it over to a Windows XP computer, and it will open right up. As a matter of fact, I can show that here. Let me bring back XP. Go into refresh that. So th those are the files I just made. Now, it won't open this. It totally won't. But it will open this one. Ta -da. And then I can do what I did before and open up the zip and copy it in. And then I've got Basecamp working. On a very final note, you'll notice I also have map source here. Yeah, same deal. They share the same uh, map data folder. So, sure, if you've got an old copy of uh, map source here, uh, the one that works in XP is 616.3. Actually, is that the last version of map source? I don't remember. But you, anyway, point being that if you're used to map source, which you can still download, by the way, if you go on, uh, just search for Garmin map source download on um, whatever search engine you use, you'll, you'll find it. And it'll work, and it's the same data folder. So if you're used, used to that, you can use that, or you can go ahead and use the uh, base camp if you want, provided you use an older version, 45. And that's it. So if you're dealing with the old <laughs> XP, yeah, yeah, you can get op uh, Open Map Chest from Open Street. Uh, excuse me, Open Street Map from Open Map Chest. But you got to mind that four gigabyte file limitation. Split it up with Seven Zip. Then you can get it into XP, and then get everything running, and then everything's right with the world and it works once again